learningspace.com.ng Hello, you're welcome back um, to our series 10 uh, on our lectures on varieties of living organisms. We've had nine series of lectures so far, and these are 10 series. Uh, without wasting much time, we'll go to our first question for this series. Now, the question reads, and the question was extracted from JAM 1988, number 6. Now, the question reads, which of the following sets of organisms represents the correct trend from simple to complex structural organization? Which of the following sets of organisms represents the correct trend from simple to complex structural organizations? Now, the first set of organisms they gave, one, they gave um, mollusca. That's where we have um, snails and slugs. Um, they gave um, platyhemids, number two. That's the flatworms like tapeworm and the liver fluke. Um, number three, they gave the nematoda. Those are the roundworms. That's the parasitic worms. And they gave four um, protozoa. Now, for us to get this evolutionary trend, now first, you must understand that uh, we have five kingdoms, five kingdoms of living things. Five kingdoms of living things, which you must get clearly. Now, we must arrange them anyhow. Um, they, f they follow um, an evolutionary order. Now, the first kingdom of living thing, uh, we have the kingdom Monera. This must always come first. Examples, this is where we have um, bacteria. This is where we have the bacteria. Okay. So, in other words, it is believed that the first set of living organisms that ever existed were the bacteria. Now, we have the kingdom protista. The kingdom protista, which could also be called protoctista. Protoctista, okay. Now, this kingdom, we, there are two groups of organisms that make up this kingdom. We have um, the plant-like protist, majorly two of them. Plant-like protist, known as the algae, which we could also call the protophyte. The protophyte. Then we have um, the animal-like protist. The animal-like protist called the protozoans. Called the protozoans, okay? Now, the plant-like protists, the algae, um, this is where we have organisms like euglena. This is where we have organisms like um, chlamydomonas. Chlamydomonas. This is where we have spirogyra. Spirogyra, they are all green algae. Green algae. Now, the animal-like protists, this is where we have the organisms amoeba. This is where we have paramecium. This is where we have um, vulvas. This is where we have trypanosome, which is the cause of sleeping sickness. That's trypanosomiasis. Um, this is where we also have um, plasmodium, the cause of malaria fever. Okay? So that's for the second kingdom of living things. Now, for the third kingdom, um, we call it kingdom fungi. Kingdom fungi. Okay, examples of organisms here. This is where we have um, mushroom. Okay, this is where we have yeast. This is where we have rhizopod. This is where we have mold. Now, mold is a combination. Mold is a combination of um, rhizopods and muco. And muco. Okay, this is where we have toadstool called the organism toadstool, okay, uh, kingdom fungi. They are known basically for the production of spores. They exhibit extracellular digestion, and they are saprophytic in nature. That is, they feed on dead and decayed organic materials, okay? Now, the fourth kingdom, um, I have to come up here now. Um, the fourth kingdom, come, coming up here, we have kingdom... Plantae, which we've really dealt with. Then the last kingdom of living things, we call it kingdom animalia. That's the kingdom animalia. So first, for a preview, um, I told you first we have five kingdoms of living things. The kingdom Monera, that's where we have the bacteria. Uh, also in this group, we have the blue-green algae, commonly called cyanobacteria. We call it the blue-green algae. It's really not an algae. It's just that it has um, patches of blue and green um, pigment. The blue-green algae. Now, this blue-green algae is commonly called cyanobacteria. Cyanobacteria, okay? Um, that's the first kingdom of living things, kingdom monera. 
Um, we have the second kingdom, which um, is the kingdom protista. Now, this kingdom consists of plant-like organisms called algae or protophytes. Examples include Euglena, Chlamydomonas, and the Spirogyra. Then we have the animal-like protists um, called protozoans, with examples including Amoeba, Paramecium, Vulvus, Trypanosome, which is the cause of Trypanosomiasis, and uh, Plasmodium. Now, the kingdom fungi, these are the examples there, then the kingdom plantia and the kingdom animalia. Okay, now, before we answer that question again, we need to break down kingdom animalia, then we'll be able to trace the evolutionary sequence. Now, don't forget, this kingdom follows an evolutionary order. If you are asked to list the five kingdoms of living things in evolutionary order, you must follow this sequence. You must mention kingdom animalia before kingdom monera. Uh -huh, you must follow this sequence because I told you it is believed that the first group of living organisms that ever existed were. Um, um, bacteria, that's the monerons, okay? Now, for kingdom animalia, because if you take a look at that question, um, majority of the organisms there, they are animals, if you take a look at the list. Now, for kingdom animalia, what was not the evolutionary sequence in terms of listing out um, the various groups or um, the various phyla, okay? Now, uh, remember this um, acronym, B, C, P, name, Name your name here is going to have a double A. Name C. B C P. Name C. Okay. Now these are the various um animal phylums. The various phyla that phylum that make up um, kingdom animalia. Now the P there stands for Porifera. This is where you have um sponges. The C there stands for cylentrates. Cylentrates. Okay, this is where you have Hydra. Uh, Hydra. This is where you have Obelia. Obelia. And this is where you have um, Sea Anemone. Sea Anemone. Okay. Um, the PDS stands for Platyhemites. Platyhemites. Also known as the Flatworms. And this is where you have Tapeworm. Uh, this is where you have Liver Fluke. And um, this is where you have the planaria worm. The planaria worm. Okay. Um, we also have um, nematoda. Um, also known as round worms. Round worms. All your parasitic worms are here. Guinea worm, hook worm, um, filaria worm, they are all here. Then we have the anelidas. Also known as um, segmented worms. Segmented worms. They possess body segments, segmented worms, okay? This is where you have earthworm. This is where you have leech. This is where you have earthworm. Okay, and this is where you have um, leech and earthworm. Then, um, and then the tube worm. The tube worm is here. The tube worm. In this category, the only free-living worm here is the earthworm. When I say free-living, I mean um, an organism not being parasitic. Leech and tube worm are parasitic in nature, but the earthworm is um, free living. Then the other area which we've dealt with in our past series, um, phylum Arthropoda. Go back to our series, our uh, previous videos, and um, you see where I talked about um, Arthropoda. The next phylum is um, Mollusca, where you have snails, the slug, and of course the octopus. Octopus is um, a Mollusca. And then we have the Echinodemata, the Echinoderm. Echino de Mata, uh, where we have um, the starfish. We have the starfish, and you have the Bristol star, you have the sea urchin. The Bristol star, and you have the sea urchin. Okay, then uh, we now have um, the Codata. Of course, this is where your vertebrates, animals with a backbone structure, this is where they belong. In other words, your first eight phyla, that's from Porifera to Echinoderms. We commonly call them invertebrates or non-vertebrates. That is, they do not possess a backbone structure. So we call them invertebrates or non-vertebrates. Okay? So the only phylum here where you could get vertebrates is phylum caudata. This is where you have um, um, vertebrates. And of course, um, don't forget, uh, for vertebrates, there are five major classes again, which I'm going to excuse in. Five major classes. And this is where you have um, fishes, also known as um, Pisces. This is where we have amphibians. Okay. This is where we have reptiles, um, birds, also known as apes. 
and lastly mammals everything we've done or i've done on the light board follows an evolutionary sequence everything i've done on this light board follows an evolutionary sequence okay first kingdoms of living things in evolutionary sequence then the various phyla under kingdom animalia also in evolutionary sequence remember p c p name c your name having a double a um, with all the examples okay so we can easily answer that question and uh, the question says um evolutionary order now the first organism there was mollusca of course we know mollusca cannot be the simplest now the simplest here from what we've done there is protozoa there and if you check your kingdoms of living things um protozoa is under kingdom protista so protozoa must have to come first so in our arrangement we're going to have four okay now after um protozoa now again we check uh we have mollusca we have platyhemid we have nematode the next number that has to come is number two which is Platyhemid because every other organism there they are now all animals so platyhemid will have to follow because if we check among the three categories of animals there platyhemid nematode platyhemid nematode and mollusca platyhemid nematode and mollusca so which means um number two we follow then uh, nematode here yeah, and uh, nematode is number three and lastly mollusca is number one that's our evolutionary order okay and that leaves us with um option um, d four two three one in evolutionary order thank you very much for viewing